I swear this bag is getting heavier and heavier every time I carry it. As a new apprentice to the HVAC field, I find it challenging at times to be prepared. I even struggle with the simple things like knowing what tools I need and don't need. Welcome to the Apprentice Survival Guide. My name is Roy and I'd like you to follow along with me as I go over five hand tools for electrical work that I think everyone should have in their tool bag. This isn't going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to grab anything. We're going to start with needle nose pliers, you know, a must have if you're trying to, you know, fish in and try to pull certain wires out of places that just your hands can't fit. They're a nice insulated grip. So if I accidentally touch anything, you know, I'm not going to get shocked, but definitely a must have. I use them all the time. Next up, wire strippers. These are Milwaukee wire strippers. I love these more than any other wire stripper I've used. I hate the thin little flimsy metal strippers. You know, these are, they're nice and heavy. They got a good cut. I feel really confident when I'm um, stripping a wire that I'm not just gonna bend the metal. Like, I feel like this is really well made and it's gonna hold up. Diagonals. I can't tell you, before I had these, I didn't know I needed them. But now that I have them, I know I need them. These are awesome you get a nice clean cut with these you know you're not using the cutting edge that they have on needle nose or linemans you got to really work your way down to get to the cutting edge you don't get a clean cut these you get really nice and precise these are just klein diagonals i got them at the supply shop and i mean i'm really glad that i got them now this one might be a little controversial but i do think it's worth having and that's a pair of crimpers you know a lot of times linemans and, and other tools will come with a crimper on the bottom but I mean, to be honest, this is a lot more of a fine point. You, you get a, a better crimp. These aren't heavy. They don't take up a lot of space. I mean, they do have a cutting edge on the end. I struggle with them a lot. I think having a pair of diagonals is a lot better than using the cutting end on here. If you don't have any kind of a crimping device, it's definitely worth having in the bag. And last, but of course not least, good old lineman pliers. This is the go-to, honestly, what can't you do with a pair of lineman pliers? They're, they're hard, you can use them to take out lock nuts, to help tighten lock nuts. I mean, they, they're just so universal. This one, this Nipex does have a crimper, but I find it a little bit larger than the crimper that I have separate. So I actually don't even use this one that much. I, if I have to crimp something, I gravitate towards the other crimper more than I do this one. For anybody that's asking, yes, there is a hole in my lime and pliers. You gotta be safe. Double, triple check any kind of wires before you cut them. Now the real question is, buy an expensive pair of Nipex or buy, you know, a not so expensive pair of Klein tools. It really depends. I would say start off with a cheaper pair, use them, and if you find yourself using them a lot, it's worth investing into a better pair if you ever have to, if they break. But you know, you don't have to jump right off the bat into getting tools that are super expensive because that means they're a better quality, but you don't use them that much. You know, that money could have been spent elsewhere on stuff that you're actually gonna need. And it gives you time too to figure out if you wanna spend the money on it or if you're totally fine with just constantly buying, you know, cheap pairs and you don't care. There's no right or wrong way. There are hundreds of options of pliers and all sorts of stuff. These are the five that I like to keep on my bag. I really don't see a sixth. I mean, there might be. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that there's one more hand tool I should have in the bag. And I'll see you next time.